Hey YouTube! Welcome into another episode of New and Old Funko Pop Unboxings. We had such a great time doing our first Snack Crate Box. We're giving it another whirl. We brought in Awesome once again because this is becoming a family thing. And uh, she enjoys it. We enjoy and having her. And it's snack crate time. And it's snack crate time. Yes, that's right, McGillney. So thank you for joining us. I am Jeremy, and I'm old. I'm McGillney, and I'm new. I'm Lynn, and I'm awesome. Snack crate. Number two for us. So, McGillney, uh, you ready to go? Yes. Okay. Awesome, you ready to go? I am so ready. Okay. Uh, we had a really such a great time doing the first one. Uh, you can see that over here. Where we got it from Pakistan. 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 Like yep. that is so interesting. And it was really funny because yeah. we actually established roles in like the first five minutes of the episode. We've never done an episode all three of us together until that one. Yeah. And uh, we actually ended up establishing roles because we realized that when we open this, there's a fact sheet, and that fact sheet goes to the teacher. Who then can educate us on the products? Uh, Lynn, what uh, country do we have this time? Vive wow. la France! I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> All right. Here's your cheat sheet there. Oh, this is exciting. All right. Fun <clears throat> facts about me I went to France when I was That's six. true. She That's, did true. Go. That's true. That is when true. I was 16 with my French class. Okay. It was really awesome. As uh, we also showed last time, we all have our chasers in case we're too. Sorry, let me back up. We're two picky eaters here. And then we have an established cultural, cu culture, no, cultured, no, is that right? Cult yeah. Cultured? Cultured, right? Yeah. Yeah, cultured, right. yeah, cultured eater over here that doesn't really care. We, however, care about a lot of things. And so, therefore, we have chasers in front of us. I have water in my narwhal mug. Miguel, what do you have, sir? I have Cuphead from Cuphead. But what is I in Cuphead? Milk. There you go. And what do you have? I have like vitamin milk. water, zero, okay. acai, berry. Oh, no. Shout out to no, vitamin no. water, apparently. And uh, we're going to get into some France, uh, France, French, French, French snacks. Bienvenue. Sure. Here we go. McGillie, the first one. That means welcome. Ooh, look at you with your knowledge. I'm shocked. Let's go with some Madeleines. They look like the chocolate chip muffins that you the, eat every morning. Petite Madeleines. <laughs> can I read about them, please? You absolutely can. Same. Named after the royal chef of King Louis the uh, X. Okay, XV. What's XV? So XV X would be um, X would be twenty. So V would be five. So I'm gonna say twenty-five. No, no, X is not twenty. Oh wait, no, it's ten. There you go. Fifteen. This is Saint the Michelle. Fifteenth. Saint Michelle. Madeline's. Go ahead, Lynn. Okay. Named after the royal chef of King Louis the 15th? Yes. These divine little cakes. That's a lot are, of Louis. Yeah. Are soft, buttery, and lightly sweetened. A must try for any dessert lover. Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So these, uh, these aren't too far from home. This looks like a chocolate chip muffin. Like a little mini muffin that they... You, you get, I don't know, what's the brand we always get? Little mini, mini muffins? The, little bites. Thank you. Same thing really does. Go ahead and take one and pass it on down there, sir. Now, we give grades. Dang, boy, skinny. Oh, my like, God, how geez. cute. The little bread. We're giving, gra we're giving grades. We each test it. We each try at the same time, and then we give grades. Oh. Everybody ready to go? Yes. yes, let's go. Giddy up. Mmm. Mmm. That's not bad. We'll That's dry. delicious. We'll oh. dry. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, what? The aftertaste. Mm. Oh. You don't like... How can you not like this? This tastes <laughs> like a muffin. It's the aftertaste. A muffin, sir? No. I think King Louis the Fifteenth chef did an amazing job. Shout out to St. Michelle. I'm not... I'm not down now, right? now, I love these, It'll be but that... Michelle. Oh, sorry. But I'm not... I'm Should not saying this is bad, but like this... Like this... The aftertaste is... I don't like it. I don't okay, like it. Okay, so what's your overall grade then, sir? What was our grade? How do we do it again? F minus to A plus. That's right. I give it a B. Okay, B. Really? I will give it a B as well. I'll probably give it a B minus. B minus for the aftertaste. You're saying take yes. points off of that. Okay, so B, B no, minus. No, aftertaste is F minus. Well, but we're not grading that. We're just grading the overall do. treat. Just so B, B minus, and I'm going to go C plus. It was a little dry for me. Yeah, not bad, well. Not bad. If it was the only thing in the house, I'd totally eat it. All right, next up is a bag of chips. We have Lay's, which we're very familiar with. 
But, we have but this is what? Savoie Poulet Roti. Okay, don't. <laughs> Here it is. Go ahead, Lynn. What you got? Um, it's brownie. <laughs> Les Poulet Roti. Poulet is chicken, How right? Is that far off. I don't yeah. know get laughed Poulet is it. chicken. These are chicken flavored oh, no. chips. No. These crispy potato no. chips are bursting with the succulent flavor oh. of savory roasted chicken. There's actually a chicken on there. Straight from a farm in the French countryside. No, I I'm gonna oh no. You can't no. You have to do this it. Is, this, is, this is I'll get you a small one. How about that? There you go. There. There you go. It's, I it's am, a half one. It'll be good. I, I think oh, it'll be good. Oh, yuck. No. Well, yes. You have to do you it. That's the point it. of this whole thing. All right. There we go. The chasers yeah. ready? Mm. Let's go. No, now, Please I remember that I cannot get you more milk. So, be, so ration yourself. Let's get some chicken chips. All right, chicken chi here. Lay's chicken. Here we go. No. That tastes like chicken. That tastes like chicken. That's not bad, but... That legit tastes like chicken. That's crazy. No. That just right. blew my mind. Land your grade. Well, I wouldn't choose to eat these instead of chicken. I would rather have real chicken. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give them a D. Okay. McGill me, sir. A D minus. D minus. So I guess we have a D, D minus. I'm going to go a, I'm gonna go a D plus. Mm. Uh, but I, they're not enjoyable. Don't get me wrong. No. But they're also not repulsive, and therefore the D plus. But they really like taste like chicken. They really that do taste horrible. like chicken. All right, next up, Haribo, Haribo. Tagadas. Lynn, please educate us on the Haribo. It's another brand we're familiar with, by the way. Haribo, Tagata. I don't know what Tagata means, though. Phrase. Phrase is strawberry. But okay. Oh, I may not be able to have that. You're fine. Tantalizing French taste buds for over 50 years. Mm. These little gummies are packed with strawberry flavor. These gotta be expired, though. And dusted with a fine coating of sugar. You are not I funny. Was, I know. It was dumb. Went over like a lead balloon. Carry on. That's it. Oh, you're done. Okay. Nice. Yes, sir. Oh, they're like. <laughs> well, okay, I'm builder. We can. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? 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 Oh gosh. Cheers. Ding. 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 That's good. That's good. I'm gonna go B plus on that one. Yeah, B. Those are good. A plus. A plus. Oh, good. They're good. Yeah, that was good. Haribo, bringing it. Okay, here we go. I wonder what Tagada is. Oh, here we go. We have... I'm going to let you say that one. Tête brûlée. So it's something about your head is going to be on fire. Oh, God, no. So... Is tatar the root of head fires? Or what, is, what does that mean? Tête brûlée. Aptly named these hot-headed, mm -hmm. chewy candies... Have an intensely sour coating. Oh no, 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 no. no. That melts, sour. That melts away to reveal a soft, sweet, and fruity center. So probably kind of like Sour Patch Kids. Uh, it looks like airheads. It does look like airheads. That's what it looks like. Like super sour airheads. And there Is there are, more of them? There's one more, yeah. So we'll... Here, Miguel, you, take, you get your own. Because you like, you like the sour crab. Ow. Do, do, yeah, the worst part of the video is me opening this. It you should have just given it to me because I have. There you go. All right, ready? Do, 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 do. Okay. You did it last time. Do, do, it was funny last time. Do, do, do. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Oh, sorry. We're good? Go. Okay. Where are we going to go? It's airheads. Is it after. Whoop! How are you? How are you complaining? I can't do it. That's not even super sour. Oh, I can't do it. That's not even super sour. Okay, all right. Woo! Like my cheeks, the yeah, like it. I feel it. Yeah, here. I have saliva in places I didn't think I could have saliva. Okay, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Never speak. That sense. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not even super sour. Alright, let's uh let's I move on. I, I, I don't want sour. that anymore. 
I've tasted more sour. Woo! Oh, no, that's pretty bad. Oh my! I just, I just still water. Okay, Haribo Orangina pick. Orangina. Okay, the tang citrus flavor flavors right. of the ever popular Orangina soda uh-huh. are the perfect complement to the soft, okay. chewy. And slightly sour gummy. Well, well, I will say the last Haribo knocked out of the park, so this should be at least okay. There you go. <gasps> They're like little Orangina bottles. Show it in the camera. Does everybody know what Orangina is? If you don't, uh, I got a, it. I got a red one. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Is that supposed like, to be? Well, they kind of look like chicken legs too. No, they look like a bowling pin. All right, so to keep it fair, I'm putting the red one back in here, and you'll notice it's all yellow. There's like two red ones in here. Uh, but to keep it fair, I'm gonna go yellow. Hey, we, we forgot to do our grades on this. Oh, oh that's an F. Good I call. can never eat that. Yeah, F. I agree. F. Miguelie. D minus. You liked it, you said. Yeah, well, I know. D minus. But a B minus? You mean? No, D minus. A D minus. Sorry. But you liked C, it. A C minus. C sorry. minus, but you liked it. Yeah. I already started eating the confused. other one because I'm go. done. That's like a Sour Patch Kid. Yep. Sour Patch Kid. Yep. C. C. B minus. What was, I'm sorry, what was it again? B minus. B minus, okay. So we're all the same ballpark. B right? minus. Yeah, B minus, yeah. Let's go with some nuts. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> These are Nestle nuts. <laughs> they are straight to the point. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, Cocoa plan, it says. <laughs> Read about the nuts. <laughs> Nestle Newts. It's a candy bar. <laughs> Nestle Newts. No, it is really. No, uh, I was being funny. That's, that's, I don't know. Nutty, creamy, caramelly, oh God. and Ooh, deliciously like coated in milk chocolate. Okay. This Nestle chocolate bar is a heavenly treat that you won't be able to resist. These descriptions, like heavenly, kill me because it's like I'll be. Thank you. I'll just take. I'll see if it's my heaven. Thanks. Oh, there you go. You know what that is? It's a Three Musketeers bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly oh, what yeah. Is. Oh, yeah. That's a Three Musketeers what bar. What did call Three Musketeers? That is not Three Musketeers bar. Yes, it what is. is it then? Milky Way? I'm bringing you home a Three Musketeers bar. You can tell me what to say. It's a Milky Way. This stuff in here isn't as fluffy. There's like a. I agree with that. Inside. I part. agree with that. Are you eating this or are you doing No, it? it's Negative. a C. Okay. It wasn't that good. All right. Uh, here's a galette. La Trinitane Gallette. Sure. With the chance of becoming your new favorite cookie. Oh, God, no. <laughs> these candies are awfully presumptuous. These, these bite sized treats. They're way treats, too hyped up. Shh, shh, listen. These bite sized treats are the perfect combination of Take sweet it. crunch and buttery delight. No, what are you doing? I want one. Don't eat it all. This one broke. Here. You got part of mine. <laughs> this one Here. broke. Hold on. I'm cleaning up this horrendous mess. Here. Let me make sure there's not one more. Okay. Now. That's enough. Wow. What? You're edit, being weird. Edit all that out. Here we go. Ready? Mm. It's a little bit dry, but it's not bad. That's good. I like a shortbread. Yeah. It's a shortbread. It's a chessman. Have you ever had chessman? That was a Jessman. From Petridge Farm. That's what Woo! it is. It's just thinner. That's all. It's good. It'd be good with some coffee. Yeah. Uh, C plus. I give it a B. Okay. What? Let me go ahead. Uh, same. B. B? Okay. We're moving on to Mikado and Go. They're chocolate sticks. Ooh. These buttery biscuit sticks. Are dipped Ooh. in rich dark chocolate, making them an ideal match for your cafe au lait Ooh. or as a quick snack on the go. Oh, 
it. Do you notice mm -hmm. that in this box, the French box, mm -hmm. it is more sweet than savory? Yes, I do notice that. And then I feel like in Pakistan, it's more savory than sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. These are uh, these are steaks. These are steaks. Okay. You can hurt somebody with this. Steaks. Yeah, they're steaks. sticks. No, they're like steaks. Oh, all right. Here we go. Ready? I just ate a steak. This is good. I like it. Mm -hmm. B. I'd say B. I mean, whatever. Do another one. I'm B. 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 Oh, a great B on that one. These are good. Okay. I'll put that back in the box. Okay. Now. Oh. Okay. Let's move on mm -hmm. to Sunday. Nestle Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um. Crispy corn flakes. Oh. Add a delightful crunch to this salty sweet treat. Okay. While the dark chocolate coating provides a rich, indulgent flavor. Okay. Yes, have mommy break off her piece and just eat that. Also, this treat will and make you... Have, have mommy just oh. break off her piece and then you eat there. that. There. Yeah. Okay. So this treat will make you... Will make you this is interesting. A snack made of cornflakes. Yeah. Makes no sense. That's interesting. It surprisingly works. Yeah. Mm hmm. How about B plus? I like this. I'm gonna say an A. Okay. Mm. I really dig that. Yeah. B plus. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's good. It's okay. Huh? Well, What's your grade? I said A. Oh, sorry. I said A. Okay. Not B plus as well. If that was in a vending machine at dance, I would get it. Yeah, it's good. Mm. I like this. Next we have. Mm. Oh boy, Lulu. I don't trust candies or edible products that have just their name on it. There's literally nothing else on this package. That scares me. No brand name, no nothing. Go ahead, it's man. called Lulu Lorson. <clears throat> the sweet bear shaped sponge. Oh no, here we here go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cake is filled with decadent blah. Decadent milk chocolate, making it the perfect treat for any snack. Is this not occasion. exactly the same thing? What was that? What was Yes! A panda cake. Yeah, it was panda cake. This is exactly the same thing. It really is. Go ahead, we're going. I got our feet. Go for it. I'll get mine, huh? You give me the butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. A little less dry, though. Same thing. A little thing. moisture. Same thing. But it is the same thing. Uh, B minus. I do not like it. Mm. D. D, you said? Yeah. Okay, let, let me know what you got. <clears throat> I can move on here. I don't know. You don't know. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go say, go for C plus. Okay, so you enjoyed it, but it was kind of boring. Mm -hmm. Great. Don't finish all that off. Yeah, two more. I'm left. still in shock about these. How much they taste like chicken. Okay, the next one is Lou Petit those. Petit. What? Petit Coulier. Cool. L O Cool J. Petit and Coulier, a French favorite okay. for. A French favorite, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for a good reason. Oh, these oh, yeah. these crispy, sweet, oh. and buttery no. shortbread cookies, mm -hmm. topped with a generous layer of rich chocolate. These look good, Lou. These look fancy. Mm. I got, I got Lou. Hey, where's mine? I got Lou. You're about to get this whole thing. Oh. What's this? I got Lou. Okay, very good. Over. That's seventy percent of that cookie right there. And who's on it? <clears throat> Lou. <laughs> Who'd you give it? Blue. That's good. B plus again. This is an A. Okay. I figured you like that one. Mm, mm, this mm, is a good. Plus, a plus. That's good. A I plus. See, I, that is a s'more. This is a s'more. I. This is it a s'more. 
Yes, Mangeli, it tastes like a s'more. And who opts out of s'mores when we do s'mores? Not because they're bad, just not one of my jam. So, this that makes sense that they both really love that, and I was like, this, this is, is a good. s'more. This is good. All right, and the final candy in our snack crate, two, uh, April 2022, is a Petit Orson, but it's actually spelled like Our Son, which I think is really funny. Check this out. I messed it up. Sorry. There we go. Is it a is Orson a bear in French? I bet that's the word. This looks bear. like a. It feels like a marshmallow bear. Is that what it is? Well, that Lulu Orson. Yeah. That was a bear, and oh, so you're saying. Okay, I know what this is. I can't find that on here. Okay, well sometimes they're not on there. Here you go. It looks like this. This is a marshmallow inside. No question. Mm. Let me go ahead and take that one. I guess Orson is a bear. I don't know. You're the French expert around here. What, what is it? I don't remember the word bear from 23 years ago or so. Do I get to eat a bear? Yep. There you go. Closing it out. What does that remind me of? We have these here. What does that remind me? I cannot think of who, what it is. People are screaming into their computers and phones right now. Because they know exactly based on what I just showed them what it is. I, I don't know. I mean, it's Charleston okay. Chew? No, that's not right. Anyway, uh, B. Minus. I wouldn't opt to buy it, but it'd be, it'd be okay to eat. I feel like there's less stuff in this crate. There is. The other one was over Marshmallow bear? <clears throat> yeah, what is it? What do you think? Marshmallow bear? No, what do you think? Gray wise. Sorry. This, this guy needs to grow some weight because this, okay. this guy. Well, they are waiting on your grade, sir. Uh, C. C. Mm-hmm. Okay, I go B minus. He goes C. What you got? Definitely D. D. That far down, huh? Yeah. I don't like it. Are oh, you not a big fan? It's not that great. Okay, great. great. Well, uh, looks like Lou was a big winner, and the Haribo. Uh, regatta. Oh, I knew I was gonna have it. Uh, <laughs> was a big winner. Uh, but th- th- this is actually a, this is a much more consistent box. As well as nuts. Nuts is always a winner. This is this is a consistent box. Enough. As a, as opposed to the Pakistan box, where it was more up and down. We had like F's and A's and B's. It was just mm-hmm. all over the road. This one was more of a consistent. I think. Any last uh, fun facts to go out? I really have to share with him some of the fun facts. I guess there is. Did you know the French eat around 60 million metric tons of snails each year? I thought it was 59 metric tons. You're not funny. Uh, (laughs) The Louvre? It's the most visited museum in the world. Because you have visited it. I have. That's not why, but I mean, just... I have visited, but I didn't like it as well as the Musée d'Orsay. Here's to that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us here at New and Old Funko Pop Unboxings. Uh, no Funko Pops uh, on this episode, but there were some unboxings. Thanks to Snack Crate and the... Amazing French box that we got. Amazing in the sense that, again, it was consistent. It wasn't like amazing, like everything was awesome. But it was more about how how good, uh, you know, kind of a baseline it was. But it shows you that they like their that. sweets. That. that they like their sweets yes, in France. Yes, I agree with that. You can tell. Because Pakistan liked the, the salty yes. slash chippy. A lot of things were chippy. The yeah. thin chips. And this was more mm. like gummies and chocolate covered things and sour and... It was a little bit in cakes, yeah, it was a little mm-hmm. bit different. And then of course we had the wonderful chicken chips. I wonder if they got diabetes over you know, a in, lot of people have the diabetes over in France. Over in the France? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. If you're if you're French and you're watching, let us know down below. It's kind of offensive. No, it's, it's not, not offensive. offensive. It's kind of no offense to anybody in France. Thank you for joining us here at Noodle Fuck Up Pop Unboxings. Patreon supporters, we do appreciate you very, very much. We cannot do this channel without you. We are very, very appreciative of everything. If you've 
find it in your heart. You donate four dollars a month to our little endeavor here. You can go to the website you see on your screen below. Thank you so much for joining us here at New and Old Funko Pop Unboxings for another Snack Crate episode. We'll be back next month for another one, and we're com coming to you here in a few days with another episode. Back to Miguel and I's shenanigans of opening Funko Pop uh, mystery boxes or whatever it may be. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Jeremy, and I'm old. I'm Miguel Nate, and I'm new. I'm Lynn, and I'm awesome. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs>